All right, I'm told that our colleague, Kaili Hle Kumala, is now able to chat to us. Kaya, you've got the former president of the Pan-African Parliament. Well, that's right, uh, Clement, and we do understand that he is totally against uh, the principle of uh, rotation. And, of course, uh, that's uh, uh, Rajan Kondo, the former PAP president. Thank you so much indeed, sir, for your time. So you're totally against the rotation principle? Tell us more. Good day. Uh, first of all, I want to apologize for what, ha what happened today. I have been leader of this parliament nine years. We never, been de we never, we never see this kind of situation. It is very damaged for our institution. I think our role, the main role of PAP is not election or rotation. We are the parliament of the people of Africa. But this session, we focus all our attention to talk about rotation and election. It's not good for the continent. I think AUC, AUC in a, a part of this uh, damage to destroy Pan-African Parliament. Rotation is, we are agree for the principle of rotation. But how we are going to implement this, pro this rotation? And you know, in assembly in 2014, the head of state agreed that we are going to make rotation. But the member said, don't want to, to ratify Malabo protocol. So we cannot apply rotation only with the legal opinion. We need to agree what our head of state say is very important. The decision of head of state is the, the higher level decision. The, 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 the legal opinion cannot stop the, uh, the, the decision of the head of state. So for me, I am for the rotation. We are going to do rotation. And when we are starting to do rotation, it will be the started or the application of the new protocol. We cannot say the one who has not been in the parliament, who has not been president, must only contest the election. No, it's not true. Mm -hmm. I has been elected. Certain region bring a candidate. Northern region bring the candidate. I beat them. So it's because I am strong. I am good political. So if you need to make a ratification, like uh, my colleague thinks, that means we are going to make only nomination, not election. What do, you, what do you make of the argument by the Southern Africa region that it's, it's their time? West Africa's no, had not, time? Not, it's not the, the time of so nobody. Because our provision, Article 15, say all the region in the position of president must bring the candidate. That is the, the, the rule we are applying now. But now they bring the rotation, and the rotation, has been, the opinion has been made by the legal, the legal uh, council. We, we is from the northern region, and we is always cry that there is time for the north. We, we need somebody who can, be, who can unite the continent, somebody talking about money. Nobody have money here. You cannot buy all these MPs to be a president. But is you, the environment congested for the elections? No, this time the environment was not good for the election. You, you know, the pressure was a lot, and I think uh, it is a pity that we didn't get the election, and we postponed everything to wait uh, AU. And I say AUC they don't want to take to pay attention for what happened here and is very damaged for our, our institution. And what do you make of the reactions? I mean, you have been trending on social media for all kinds of wrong reasons. Uh, surely that doesn't bode well for this institution that should be championing the issues of African. You know, there's coronavirus, the issue of the vaccine, uh, the economic recovery, among other things. Uh, th those things should be your priorities as opposed to scrambling and the fist fight. I think that we fell of our our mandate. Our mandate is not only election. We have a many, many, many area where we are going, particularly in this uh, critical this pandemic. We need to take the decision to advise our government, African government, to what to do uh, uh, to, to resolve the issue of corona, uh, coronavirus. But now we come here to talk uh, only election. It is a pity for the, this uh, institution who we are thinking, like you are saying, is they have many, many, many roles to play in our continent. Do you think the session should adjourn at least until October and have the AU observing how the process is unfolding? No, the, the session has been adjourned until October. There are no leadership. The problem today is the problem of the leadership. And who bring this problem of leadership is African Union. Because I has been elected president of Pan-African Parliament to a period of 2018 to 2021. But I go to the election. The rule is clear. When you go to the election, if you are elected and you are appointed, you come and sworn in 
and you contest to our president to lead. But today we arrive, we lead the, last, uh, the, the rest of the mandate of the central region. It was the northern region, the, the southern region. So I think, and the, the southern region, the man who was there don't know how to lead the institution, and they fell. That is why today we have this kind of problem. Uh, and sir, so, what, what, do you, what do you make of those who say uh, writing a presidency with so corruption here happening among other things? No, I don't think, but because myself, nobody gives me a money. And I don't think, but perhaps we are in politics. Politics need money, but here yeah, you cannot give all this respectable MP who give the money to vote you. I don't think it's true. But I think also, you, if you want to be president of PAP, you need to be strong, strongest political. This candidate for certain region is not, a, is not elected member. It's only to represent the traditional ruler in Senate in, uh, in uh, Zimbabwe. How can you bring somebody who is not elected to come and, and lead the house of the elected? Uh, are you trying to endorse your own candidates? Yes. So, so, so what, me, I think when we are coming in uh, uh, October, we need to put uh, all the rules in place. And also what happened, who is very, very bad, you cannot change the rule of the game, what they are playing. We was now to go to the election and then the legal opinion come. How we are going to stop? They, they, they take the application or they, they take the candidate, they do everything, and then you say, no, we stop. No, it's not true. It's uh, not and fair. before I let you go, Mr. President, what, what do you make of this perception that some of your members, you know, just come in Johannesburg, go to Sentin, shop all kinds of things? Uh, what do you make of those reports? Particularly, you know, I have been president. So I, I come here 7 in the morning and I leave uh, 9 in the evening. So me, I come to work. So I don't know if you are not there. I am not. Uh, I am not. I cannot be uh, behind every MP to so to know what they are doing. Me, I have been here nine years to lead Pan African Parliament. I was there. I start my my agenda at nine and end at uh, six uh, p.m. So I think uh, we need to review our mechanism to to continue to see how we are going to continue. It is not if uh, if you are not doing well. I think we are going to close this, uh, this organ, but I think uh, we are going to see, we are going to see our, our own interest. We need to put our own interests down and look what is good for the Africa. Certainly, uh, former president, thank you so much indeed. Uh, Roger and Condor, they're obviously looking at a number of issues, uh, even just uh, all kinds of reports at times that will dog this institution, that some members here, they really don't come here for the sessions. You'll find them milling around here in Johannesburg and doing all kinds of shopping. But of course, saying it's important for this parliament uh, to reclaim its position, given a number of challenges still facing the continent from coronavirus to the actual vaccine itself there's still low levels of vaccination in our continent yeah.